Give her five. a lot of things, but they're never dull. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here. Welcome to the concert choir portion of our winter concert. This is the fourth in our winter concert series and the last concert. That was a traditional carol entitled O Come Emmanuel, which we perform every year in candlelight vigil in the round. It is a tradition that I carried over from my high school days, and um, every year we do the same thing. We, we start the winter concert the same way, but this year, um, featured a very particular twist in that in the 10 years I've been in this building, this is the first time that I have not had to conduct it. In all the previous years, I had to stand in the middle of the room, direct the traffic, finding a way to light myself, and this year, the kids did it completely on their own, and they did a beautiful job. So thank you very much to them. If you can bring number five to full, please, because we can barely see the choir. There we go. We are going to continue our program without any further ado because it's already getting late. It's getting late pretty early. So our next piece is one, uh, it's a Spanish folk song entitled Alma Yenero.
A couple of years ago, at choosing a concert program, I was explaining this to some of the kids the other day because I'm looking at now music for the gala concert coming up in March. And um, a couple of students were asking me, well, how do you pick music for the concert? Like, what do you decide? How do you decide what you want to do? And um, we have a district-wide curriculum for music that we, that we pick, not necessarily titles, but things, elements they have to include. Uh, major tonality, minor tonality, uh, compound meter, simple meter, things of that nature. So typically in picking the concert program, what I wind up picking is I pull a bunch of things out of the library, songs that I like, songs that I've heard. Um, I go listen to some recordings to see if I can find new stuff. And then um, invariably I narrow it down to five, six, maybe depending on how long that maybe seven pieces for a concert. Um, a couple of years ago I did a concert and in picking the program, I neglected to realize that every single piece that I chose was a cappella. So then, I had a conversation with my accompanist and I said, um, I got bad news, uh, I don't need you for this one. <laughs> so um, there have been other concerts in past years where I picked music and I realized um, you've only got one to play for me, it's a bear, but you've only got one to play. So this concert I decided to get him back after a few years. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of time to acknowledge my accompanist, Mr. John Sidman, who is now in his 15th year of accompanying my flag. together I've known him for a very, very long time. He is a true consummate professional as well as being an amazing pianist and a really great friend and I'm very glad to have him here on this concert. So for this concert I decided to give him a little bit of something to sink his teeth into rather than playing regular little choral, choral arrangements. So this piece is by Norman Lovejoy entitled Come to Me My Love.
the pieces we performed for you have been of the uh, slower and more lush variety, and this one is not. <laughs> this is definitely, without a doubt, I'm, I, this is a toss-up between this and the last one, but I'm pretty sure that this is their favorite because every time we get to the last five minutes in the period, and I say, you know, what are we going to close with today? This is unanimously the first one out of their mouths, and they yell at me the same way they sing at me. Very loud. <laughs> so this, by Z Randall's group, is Lamentations of Jeremiah.
as is custom, there are a number of people I'd like to acknowledge. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge building, building, building and Department Administration, Mr. John Cody, the Principal, Mr. Michael Strangelo, our Department Chair, and the uh, music faculty that I work with, Mr. Frank Shano, Ms. Laura Lamanis, and especially the maestro, Mr. Joseph Cotignola, who I thoroughly enjoy doing these concerts with every year. Um, I wouldn't rather be out here with anybody else, so thank you today. I'd like to thank the seven people it took to put the rails on the risers. <laughs> uh, yeah, these, uh, these risers have seen better days, but it's okay. Um, it's always an adventure, and that's what we love about it. These things are never dull. Um, thank, I'd like to thank all of you for being here. I see a pile of alumni sitting in the back, and it's so great to see them coming back, and all the people in the community who come to these concerts. It's really so great to have the support that we have in the music department here at Smithtown. I'm very grateful for all of you and all the support that you give us when it comes to grades, and when it comes to classes, and when it comes to lessons and scheduling, and coming to the concerts and everything else. So I'd like to thank all of you, the parents in the community, for being here. And I'd especially like to thank this wonderful, wonderful group of young people standing behind me who have no idea what I'm about to say about them. And I think we might be sweating a little bit. It shouldn't be. This is a terrific, terrific group of, of kids. And uh, I was just telling them before the concert, this is the best choir I've had in a very, very long time. Without a doubt, this is the best choir I've had since the before times pre-COVID. And definitely, definitely a long, long time. When you come into a year like this, and the teachers, we got our rosters two, two weeks before the school year starts. And um, I download the roster, I look at the names, I see who's there. There's always a, a couple of administrative things I have to take care of. And then I go through the list of names and I look at the grade. And there were a lot of nines. A lot of incoming freshmen. Uh, the required this year number is 87 and we have 39 freshmen. So as a choir director, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it is something that kind of you take that you take in because with the freshmen, you never really know what you get because they're coming in new and you're not quite sure what you have to work with. So you come into the year and you kind of fill out, fill the group out, and say, okay, well, what kind of voices do I have? And I can't say enough about the group of kids that are coming to this group and how the seniors and the juniors and the sophomores have taken them in. This is not only a fantastic sounding choir, which I think we can all agree on, but they're a good group of kids. They're good people. Um, for whatever reason, I've had to miss a number of days of school so far this year, and I've never had to worry about, I've never had to worry about someone blowing up the room. And not only that, I haven't had to worry about anything getting done. I get reports coming back, okay, we worked on this, okay, we have to work on that. This did not go so good. This one actually worked pretty good. And even, you know, when I need to be out and around doing something in the building or whatever it happens to be, they take the ball and they run with it, and they work hard, and they're good. They're good to each other. That's something I can't teach. That's something I can never teach them. They treat each other well. They work together well. Within their sections and the sections between each other. And that's something I really dearly love about them, because that's something I can never teach them to do. They're just good people. And that's what makes them part of the group. And so now I've said enough for one night, and we're going to continue the program with Elijah Rock.
selected for multiple honors and I would like to acknowledge them. So as I read them off um, for each section, if you could please hold your applause to the end, we'll get through it a whole lot quicker. First, I'd like to acknowledge we had seven students in this group selected for the Scamilla All-County Vocal Jazz Ensemble. Please hold, yeah, absolutely. Hold to the end just so I can get through it. We have Hannah Waller, soprano, Rose Link, soprano, Noella Sexton, alto, Marilena Castoro, soprano, Jared Hirsch, tenor, Brandon Castoro, bass, Nick Stallone, bass. Sweet All County Jazz. Woo! This past November, we had six students selected for Niskane All County. That's 11th and 12th grade All County. We have the mixed choir or the treble choir. They are Gia Magdaleno Soprano, Raquel Shiaka Soprano, Noella Sexton Alto, Erica Gerling Alto, Jared Hurst Tenor, Nick Stallone Bass. In this uh, all state conference happened, and we had a student here selected from this one, not all county, but all state, Erica Darling Alto. <laughs> and just this past Monday, it's not listed in the program, my apologies, it came in after the program was printed. We had not one, not two, not three, but nine students selected for Scamia Division III All County, that's ninth and tenth grade. They are Marilena Castoro, soprano, Brandon Castoro, bass, Cordelia Commando, alto, Julian Collin, alto, Emily McNiff, soprano, I need another breath, Jacob Donlin, bass, Tyler Foley Machado, tenor, James Robinson, tenor, and David Valentin, bass. I'm very, very proud of all of those students for everything that they've done. So one more time for all of the All-County and All-State students. And as I see the symphonic orchestra trickling behind the risers, behind the choir, I'd like to invite all of my alumni in attendance who would like to come and sing the Honda Hallelujah Chorus to come on up. As well as inviting the orchestra legends back to the stage, I think we're just going to barely fit everybody. 